Good evening. We'll just wait till we hit nine o'clock here. Let some folks join us. I hope you've had a good day. It sure was pretty with all the sunshine and the warm air. Hopefully you had a chance to take a walk or just stand in the sunshine for a bit. Our worship begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in saying together Psalm 31 on page 129, and we'll follow that with the Gloria on the middle of 131. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. 
for the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgivings. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day, for the sunshine, for the warmth, for the brightness of the sun as it shines on us and the brightness of your sun who shines always light into our darkness. We thank you for all those who serve our communities by their service through their jobs to help the necessities of life continue. For first responders, for police, for EMTs, for nurses and doctors and technicians. For those who operate machinery, for those in hospitals who transport patients and provide food and serve food and do the laundry and uh, clean the rooms, for those who work in pharmacies and nursing homes and other facilities where lots of people live together. For those in the home health care business. For those who work in the food industry and provide the necessities of life. For those who work in restaurants. We pray for all those who are have been exposed to this virus, especially Tish and David. We pray for those who have died from this virus. We pray for supplies to be provided we thank you for the companies that are creating personal protection equipment for those on the front lines uh, instead of making what they normally make, but to be making these other things to provide protection. We pray that more and more places would do that and as we do that, we know that more and more people will be served and protected. We pray for the fear that may be experienced by some and or many, that your perfect love, which casts out fear, would fill them and surround them. We pray your tender mercy today, especially on the students in Michigan who learned today that they will not be going back to school in person. We pray especially for the seniors 
who had great expectations and hopes for concerts and events uh, that will not be able to take place. We pray that uh, knowing that this is for everyone's protection is still really hard news. And so we ask your care and compassion to rest on them and comfort them in your gentleness. We pray for the parents of those students who must also be disappointed and having to, um, to help manage the emotions and walk through the emotions with their child. We thank you for all of the teachers, for their commitment to teaching students and that they may learn all that they need to learn. We pray that as the system moves forward that they would be able to uh, do that well uh, with, with good and reasonable expectations and um, with wisdom. We pray for peace in our world, for peace in the hearts of all, as we move forward. We pray for all those unemployed, for the system that is having a hard time uh, supporting all of those who need it. And for those who are hungry, we pray for um, food banks and other feeding ministries to be able to support them. God, we know that there are many prayers on our hearts. And Holy Spirit, we believe and trust that you are already answering them on our behalf. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Sleep well, my friends. <laughs>